Um, a big part of the, the humanitarian, the advocacy work you do involves family planning and contraception. Absolutely. And that, and that is, I mean, that's beyond just the idea of feminist uh, justice. That's the idea of just human rights. Absolutely. I was curious what you would think about this conversation that's happening with the Republican race now, you know, about contraception. I find it puzzling, and um, I, I, I think you said it perfectly. We each have the right to regulate our own fertility according to what is appropriate for our lives. And a lot of poor people especially are denied access, and I don't understand why someone else thinks it's their right to encroach or constrain that. And some of the language around it is fascinating. Santorum, Rick Santorum has become, you know, Jokes aside, has an elevated base. People support him. He said this. Watch this clip. It's oh dear. One of the things I will talk about that no president has talked about before is, that, is I think the dangers of contraception in this country. The whole sexual liber liberty idea. And many in the Christian faith have said, well, that's okay. I mean, you know, contraception is okay. It's not okay because it, it's a license to uh, uh, to do things in the sexual in the sexual realm that is that is counter to what, what, how things are supposed to be. You know what I say to that? <laughs> that's what you do when there's a bad guy. You go, <laughs> come on. But is, but is he the bad guy? Because that's a value that a lot of people have. Um, I was trying to make light of it because yeah. it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's below meriting com comment. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm puzzled by the country I live in at times and the things that are said. And when, Family planning was finally being um, provided for certain women uh, in the health care plan, and I celebrated that in a, in a tweet. I said, I can't believe that it's actually taken this long, and I'm really happy about it. The people who disagreed with me were largely women. Yeah. And that, to me, is nothing less than internalization of the patriarchy, and that's what happens. We are victimized in some way without necessarily knowing it and then we and in, we internalize the perpetrator and become our own abusers in this situation a lot of the people who agree with him and, and certainly from his place he, he talked about the idea of christian values and i know that for you a lot of your advocacy also had its roots in christianity so it's just a really complicated way and completely opposite ways to approach faith and he doesn't have uh, a corner on the faith market because I'm sitting here as a lifelong Christian, a person who was raised in churches and went to Sunday school and I still choose the God of my understanding as the God of my childhood. I have to expand my God concept from time to time and you know particularly I enjoy um, native faith practices and, and have a very um, nature-based God concept. I'm ju I like to think I'm like St. Francis in that way, brother donkey, sister bird. You and have dogs with you everywhere you go. And kitty cat. <laughs> you know, and I'm a Christian and I believe in family planning. And there you go. The two are not mutually exclusive.